Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Captive, and I'm gonna be doing my, uh, a tutorial. I don't know what number this is, but I'm gonna be doing it on three ways to do the ripple effect. So what you wanna do is open up Photoshop and have, uh, have a 3D text. This is my Type-Z logo that I made. And get a cell render. If you guys do not know how to make a cell render, either comment, I can maybe make a tutorial. It depends on how much comments I get for that. If not, just look up a video. It's pretty easy. So what you want to do is go to your move tool, drag this over to your text, place this on top, and, uh, well, um, actually no, drag this underneath it. Now, make this a little bit bigger, just so that you could see it. Now once it's a little bit bigger, looks good, just click OK, and uh, make a new layer just so that, well, you, you probably don't because you're probably doing it on like a background or something, but just for this, I'm going to make a, a new layer, put a different color, just so that you guys can see what's actually going on. So once that's that, now go to your cell render, now when it where it says normal, click on linear dodge add and just the opacity. I like it around 75% or 50%. It just depends what you want. So I guess we'll put it on, let's say 75%. All right, that's good now. Now what you wanna do is double click on that layer, color overlay, no, my bad, sorry. Um, hit control U on the text or double click on that layer. And now what you want to do is colorize and drag this to whatever color you want. So I want green, put in the green, adjust the saturation. That's if you want to change the color, which it'll look better probably. Now click OK. So now to do the ripple, go to filter, distort, ripple. I personally uh, like 150, so set this to 150 click OK and there's the ripple effect. If, if it's too uh, noticeable, just uh, adjust the opacity. So, it looks pretty good. So that's that way and I'll show you guys a different way. And um, this is my way I created myself because I didn't know how to do it at first. So what you want to do is hold control. Now click on the text. Now once you do that, Go to select, modify, expand. Now make this 10 and click OK. Once you click OK, make a new layer, drag underneath the text, make the color white, click OK. Now go to select, modify, contract 1. Now click OK. Now what you want to do, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. Um, I just, let me undo that. Don't do that. Now what you want to actually do is, uh, get, oh yeah, I forgot to fill in the color. So after you made this white, take your fill tool and click in the, in the whatever pixelate part, or pixelate, I don't know, my bad. And then go to select, modify, contract, and one. Click OK and hit delete on your keyboard and now control D to deselect it. And there's this nice little line. Sorry for um my mix up. Didn't mean to do that. Kinda got ahead of myself. Now what you want to do is click on that layer, double click, color overlay. Now I'm gonna make this green. So go to the green, nice well, actually, I'm going to make this match the color, so, no. Alright, looks pretty nice right there. Now, no, um, my bad. Now make an inner glow and change this to a green, nice, nice, no, yeah, probably a light green or maybe a little bit darker. So, that's good. Now, outer glow, which gives it the really nice effect. Make this green as as others are, and 
This looks pretty cool. Now I'll hit OK. We're almost done. Just now I have to go to Filter, Distort, Ripple, and 150. Click OK, and it looks that looks probably the best I think. I like the opacity on 100. You guys can adjust it if you want. I think it's better on 100. But now that that's done, um, I'll show you the third way. So I can delete that layer. Now I'm gonna click. Here's the text itself. So what you want to do, this this is probably the easiest. Go to Filter, Distort, Ripple. I wouldn't say this is my best, but I, I like this. And uh, you just want to make this probably around 75. And click OK. You can see it adds like a wavy effect, Ripple. That's what it's called. So... I think this looks pretty cool, and uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like this video if you're planning on using one of these effects, or I don't know, just like the video, go check out Type-Z, they're pretty good right now, we released our Team Taj, and it looks pretty sick, thanks for watching, and goodbye.